Hi everybody, it's me Raquel from Cali Scrapping Creations. I wanted to go over this um, chipboard mini album that I did that measures 8.5 by 11. This paper that I used was DCWV's Madame Wazelle paper pack. It just came out, I'm thinking, because i never seen it before, but I saw it at Michael's. Thought to get it and I simply love it. It is the most beautiful paper pack that DCWV has ever done, ever done that I've seen. Um, on the front, you see there's fiber... Um, not fiber, Prima flowers that I used here, Prima bling, um, fabric flowers, and then you see the famous Prima golden leaves there. Butterfly was from K and Company. I used some pearls, and then this is burlap that I put on there, made it a little bit more vintagey. Then I used three ring binding binders um, for the side, and then you know ribbons and fibers as I always do. Um, another butterfly from K and Company. Opening the book, you'll see that this one is pretty blank. I left it blank on purpose for any pictures or anything that you know, anyone want to put there. Um, on this page, there's tags here. These tags come out. And the stamping is from the Clear Stamp Inka Dinka Doo. And then, like I said, Prima Bling and Flowers. Not Prima Bling, but Prima Flowers um, that I used at the top. Love them. Um, and then I hadn't seen this technique done on a chipboard album of this size, so I decided to give it a try. It sort of reminds you like a paper bag book. But I put a little slot right here on the side so you can be able to take that out. Um, put a picture here. Picture could also go here. And then, of course, it opens up so you can put journaling, pictures, whatever your heart's desire. Um, this page, as you can see, it's just simply beautiful. It's the pinks, black, um, white, and gold. Let me start here. This tag pulls up and out. And as you can see, there's a little Mademoiselle there. And I put some lace along the bottom with uh, Prima Flowers. Here's a spot for a picture. This tag also pulls out more Prima Flowers and Prima Bling. And then this one also opens up. Ha! Ah. And you're able to put a picture there as well. And then these are little books. You can put pictures, so many pictures in this book. I just love it. Just simply love it. Um, smaller pictures here. Um, picture here. And then I made these little booklets up here. Opens up and it's done with Velcro. Journaling here. And then it kind of just opens up like so. There you go. And then this one as well. And this is Prima Leaves as well. Um, and then it opens that way and I made this one a little longer and you know you can put smaller pictures there as you wish journaling journaling on the side and then here's one of my little taggies that come out look at this paper all the crowns and it's just beautiful okay and then this page, um, as you can see, it's like blue and pink and black and white. There's a tag on this side as well. And look at that. It's just gorgeous. Um, you can put a picture here. Then I did something a little different. Just put these little tags. There's a tag there for journaling or pictures. Another tag. Look at that. And the tag punch that I use, I use the Tim Holtz big tag punch that he has um, for the big kit, uh, big shot. And then here is a Prima flower, and then this one opens. Like I said, this book has so much room for pictures and journal. You can even put a picture here. I left this blank, and you you know you can put something there, um, a word or anything there. This, I kind of left this section blank as well, just for a small picture. And then here is like a little water waterfall flip. Opens up like so. 
Look at this paper, isn't it gorgeous? And then here was a little secret little pocket that I did here. Some more stamping for me and do. And I'll put that tag there. And then here's a tag that comes out on the side. Let me show you that. Okay. And then this page, I just put a bunch and bunch, a bunch, a bunch of Prima flowers along the edges. This was actually like a fabric flower that I had in my stash, so I put that. Prima leaves on the side, and these tags are simply gorgeous. Look at this. I did some embossing and some inking with the Tattered Angels. And there. Uh-oh. Look at this. Aren't these tags just beautiful? And then I inked the ed edges with some gold. Look at these tags. Just beautiful. Just simply beautiful. And then this space could be, you know, you can put a picture here if you choose to. And then this page here, these are some fabric flowers that I made myself with some vintage buttons in the middle. Um, it's a butterfly from K and Company. And then getting up close, you see there's more butterflies. Um, and then you can put a picture here. And then here is a flip book. Look at that. I told you it was going to be room for a bunch of pictures. Look at this. Flip book there. And then going out, here's another tag. And there it goes there. This right here would have to be my most chunkiest book that I've ever done. And then this opens up like this. And then another secret spot for journaling and pictures. And then all these are tags. All of them. There's a tag there. It's this uh, uh, fluorescent paper like. Um, and they're all stamped except for the black one. Stamp for journaling, pictures, all of those. And then this punch was the Martha Stewart punch. And then I just did like a mirrored side on this side. Opens up like so. Has a tag that pops out here. Oh, forgot to show you this one. This one comes out over here on this side too. Let's see. All right, and then this page, it kind of reminds you of Mademoiselle having a fan. So I, I thought about this idea. I don't know where I got it from, but I thought it was just so simply cute. And then I put lace here. And then these are just some tags that stuck in the back of here. Some little embellishments that I saw at Michael's in the dollar section. Um, and then this little book flips up. There we go. And then here is the slider. Um, everybody's doing the popular slider. I left this blank right here so you could put, you know, some writing or some journaling there. And then I just pull these out. They come out that way. And then also on this side, you sort of slide out. Paper, this uh, key was from Recollections at Michael's. And then this page... This one flips up for journaling, then flips out for pictures. So I thought that was cute. And then here is one of my little doors. Pop it open, journaling here. You can put a picture here, and then it opens up that way. And then another hidden treasure, one of my tags with the Prima flower there, inking on the back. And then this one, I just left this page pretty blank. Um, it's a pocket here so that, you know, you, any extra pictures that you have, you can put in the extra pictures here. You can put a big photo here, but I wanted to keep this one just plain and simple. Um, and then this will be the back. Hope you all like my book. Please leave any comments, questions. I'll be glad to answer them for you. Take care. Have a good day. Bye.